Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another screencast. And in this screencast we're going to take a look at the unit testing using the OC unit available in the Xcode. So I'm just going to make a new project. And um, let's go ahead and create a single view application. And here it says include unit test. So if you want to test using OC unit, which is part of the Xcode, uh, then you check this checkbox and it will add under the target for the OC unit uh, project. So what I'm going to say is a uh, unit testing using OC unit. And unit testing is very important if you are building a project. Uh, you want to test as you go or you ha you want to write the code uh, only that after you have succeeded with the test. If you are unaware of how the unit testing actually works, then I highly recommend that you check out some books on Amazon of unit testing and read about it. So here's our unit testing project. Uh, you can see it's a header file and it also has a implementation file or a .m file and it comes with a setup teardown and tear example I mean the test example so if I want to run it I'm just going to say command u and I'm just going to run this uh, unit test and uh, you can actually see over here that the unit tests are executing on iOS or iPhone 6.0 simulator of course it's available in 4 point and I mean iOS 4 and 5 and everything so we're just going to run the default unit test that is created when we added the project for the unit test and you'll see that the, it simply fails and it says unit tests are not implemented yet and of course it will fail because it says that it will fail. All right. So let's uh, create a unit test that will actually pass. Uh, a couple of things about the unit test is that the test name must begin with a word test and that is how it will the unit testing framework the OC unit will actually know that these are the unit test okay so if I want to test anything so if I want to say okay test add two numbers or you can let's say you can be more descriptive you can say should be able to add two numbers okay and uh, you can provide different numbers. You have uh, uh, you can uh, have different numbers. I'm going to say st a third equals object, and you have different uh, equality operators basically that you can check over here. So you can say I, I would say two plus two, four, and this will be kind of like uh, that. It will fail, then it will display this message. So you can say the addition result is not correct. So this is basically the description or the message that it will appear when um, you know it is incorrect. So if I just say 2 plus 2 equal to 3 and if I run this unit test then here we go it actually failed and it should be equal to 3 and all that stuff. So we are not we're getting the uh, you know uh, failing test. Of course, two plus two equal to four, and you will get unit test text succeeded over here. And you will, you should be watching uh, the uh, basically the uh, the console over here that uh, unit tests have actually passed. Okay. Um, another thing that you can also do is a unit test has I mean different operators as I have already said. Uh, so it also has some more operator like a third throw so you can also check that if you have a particular method and that has a, a thrown an exception so you can actually check that that particular exception has been thrown okay and you can call any method over here let's say if you have a class called uh, I don't know uh, prime service is prime okay and you're passing uh, I don't know let's say minus five and you're only calculating the numbers which are positive then you can use the uh, basically the is prime method can actually use the what is that called the NS exception so you can use the NS exception and then you can uh, throw the exception and all that stuff exception with name reason user info and uh, you can actually throw the exception not using a throw 
Okay. So uh, this is, I mean, it's a good framework. It's actually built into it. One of the things that it uh, doesn't provide you with uh, is the that you have to begin your test with the name test. So the readability is it becomes a little bit of issue over here. If you want the unit test to be the documentation of your project, then it's not going to serve uh, like that. Uh, you, there are different frameworks that you can use, and one of them is Kiwi. <coughs> which we are going to discuss in the uh, future screencast. Also the setup and teardown. Uh, if you want to initialize anything that is part of every test, then you can use in setup. If you want this particular, this will actually uh, run before, the setup will run before each of the unit tests and teardown will run after each of the unit tests. So if you want to dispose some resources, you can do that in the teardown method. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So this is the basic introduction of uh, unit testing uh, in Xcode and I highly do recommend that you check out unit testing and in the future tutorial we are going to check out uh, more behavior driven development framework which is known as Kiwi. So we're going to check out that. Thank you very much.